The Miami Dolphins' biggest free agent signing this offseason was former Houston Texans wide receiver Will Fuller. For the bargain price of around $10 million a year, Miami got Fuller on a prove-it deal, which was awesome for Miami. Fuller is an extremely talented receiver and can easily become Miami's number one target this season, but his injury history is the biggest concern. Fuller has never played in 16 games in the regular season, and the most games he has played were 14 in 2016, his rookie season. To make matters worse, Fuller has missed almost every single day of training camp with an undisclosed reported foot injury, according to Barry Jackson and Armando Salguero. Fuller will not play week one because of his ped suspension stemming from last season, so the thought is that Miami isn't rushing him back because of that. Should fans be concerned about Will Fuller? I could understand Miami holding Fuller out if he has been with the team for years and knows the offense, but I don't quite understand holding him out since he's new and it's a new offense. Fuller injured his foot on July 29 and has not even been a limited participant since his foot injury. He has received a DNP every day since, and with each day that passes, I worry more. Foot injuries are tough in the NFL, and just in general. They can be annoying, nagging injuries. A lot of the time, players will try to let them heal and get better with rest and rehab, but with my experience, getting the surgery to fix it is the smartest bet. Surgery is never fun, but it fixes the issue and ensures you won't have a nagging foot injury all year. This is just pure speculation as Miami lists every injury as day-to-day, -day, but I am a little worried about a mid-foot sprain or possibly turf toe. If it is truly Fuller's foot that is injured, not being able to even doing individuals periods or 11-on-11 11 11 team is alarming. Jesse Morse, who works for the Fantasy Doctors, does a fantastic job breaking down injuries and giving you best and worst case scenarios. Morse released a video regarding Fuller's supposed foot injury, and I highly recommend watching it. Morse shared similar concerns as me, mainly because Fuller has been out so long already and hasn't practiced at all. Again, this is just pure speculation, and Fuller could be fine, but I am starting to get concerned that maybe there is something more here. Oddly enough, Barry Jackson listed Fuller out with a lower body injury today instead of foot, so the plot has thickened a little. Hopefully, Fuller is fine and will start practicing soon because I have high hopes for him in this offense. I think he can become a superstar in Miami, he just needs to stay healthy. Maybe Miami is truly taking the cautious approach because they know how good he will be when healthy for this team. Time will tell, but as more time passes without Fuller practicing, fans should also start to be concerned.